So you're upgrading to polycarbonate, but from what? What is this basic plastic? Well, I'm gonna talk about it, so stick around. Thank you so much for joining me. I am Eyeglass Tyler, an optician at SportRx. I wanna to talk to you about polycarbonate versus CR39. If you're not familiar with that term, it's what we use to reference the most basic lens material possible, the intro lens material, very basic plastic. And to tackle this topic, I think I wanna go over pros and cons of each material. I wanna talk scratch resistance, a little note of how to tell the difference, because we get that question a lot, and then which one is better ultimately. And then I'll finish with a little fun fact. So let's jump into it. Let's start with polycarbonate and I'll begin with the pros. It is thinner, it is lightweight, it is incredibly impact resistant, therefore great for safety glasses. It is available in just about every lens feature that you can imagine, whether you want transitions or polarized or a combination of features, it is almost certainly available in polycarbonate. It's also not terribly expensive. Like I said, it's kind of the industry standard, so it's available and availability usually drives the cost down. So it's very affordable for sure, even though it's an upgrade off of that basic CR39 material, not terribly expensive. Also, it's inherently UV protected, which means you don't have to have an added feature to make sure that it's UV resistant. The downside is it is on the lowest rung in the optical clarity ladder. We have a unit of measurement called the Abbey value, which is referring to its optical clarity, and it is the lowest value in terms of the Abbey value. Unfortunately, there's no perfect lens material. Other than that, I will acknowledge there is the issue of what's called a polycarbonate non-adapt, and that is because there are some people who have trouble adapting to the optical clarity issue of this lens material, and for those people, the only option is to get them out of that lens material and into another one. Overall, a great lens. Now for CR39. Again, that's the term that we opticians use to refer to the most basic lens material available. No added features, no added fees, you're getting CR39. The pros for this lens material, vastly superior optics. It ranks just one rung below glass, which is the absolute best in terms of Abbey value. And so that's a really big plus in my opinion. Also, it is, like I said, the most basic lens material available. So it is inexpensive. It is no added fee. You're gonna get a really inexpensive lens material. The downsides, it is very thick. It is the thickest lens material you can get. It is very heavy, as you would imagine, added thickness, added weight. It is a dense material. It is not nearly as impact resistant as polycarbonate. It can crack, it can shatter. You cannot use this lens material for a lot of off, uh, frame features like rimless or drill mount or semi-rimless. You have to go with something more impact resistant that won't chip. And on top of all of this, it is not inherently UV resistant. If you still decide to go with this lens material, make sure that you add the UV protected, UV resistant coating, because if you don't, your eyes are at risk. Now for scratch resistance. Do polycarbonate lenses scratch easily? Yes. If you don't get a good scratch coating, I always encourage people to get a good scratch coating because the lens material is very soft. It's also very flexible, which is what allows it to be so impact resistant. It will flex upon impact and not shatter or crack. Therefore, it can scratch more easily. But if you get a good scratch coating, this isn't an issue. I always recommend get the best scratch coating you can when you're getting polycarbonate. Now that you know the pros and cons and what you might think is better, you might be wondering what lens material you have in your own glasses. If so, unfortunately, there is no homegrown solution that I'm aware of that will allow you to determine that. However, you can go to your local optical supply store, your local optician, and have them figure it out. Of course, the easiest way is to reach out to the place that made those glasses for you and just ask them. However, if that's not an option, the best way you can do it is take it to what we call a hand stone. You actually take a little bit of material off the lens and the polycarbonate will have a little bit of what we call schwarf on it. It's like a buildup of the lens material and the plastic CR39 lens will just kind of turn to dust. That's about all you can do. 
So for the million dollar question, is polycarbonate better than CR39? There's no absolute yes or no, right or wrong, unfortunately. It is just what is best for you. In this case, I would encourage you to reach out to your local optician or SportRx. We have opticians who'd love to help you figure that out and find out what's right for you and your frame and your prescription and take it from there. So for the fun fact, what does CR39 even stand for? Well, obviously, uh, the abbreviation stands for Columbia Resin Number 39, which was the 39th formula of a thermosetting plastic developed by the Columbia Resin Project in 1940, obviously, which is the first thing you learn in optician school, and everyone knows that, of course, but, you know, a fun fact anyway. That pretty well covers what I think is important to know about polycarbonate versus CR39. A quick summary, I went over the pros and cons of each. I talked about scratch resistance. I talked about how to tell the difference of what you have in your own glasses and ultimately which is better. And that little fun fact at the end, that was kind of fun, right? So hopefully you have a better idea of what is right for you and your pair. By the way, if you order from SportRx, thanks to our See Better guarantee, you never have to worry about getting something that isn't right for you or that you don't like. And as long as you get back to us within 45 days, we'll make sure that you get what is right for you. Just talk to us. We want to make sure that you're happy. And also, if you reach out to our opticians, we'll make sure that you get the right thing in the first place. So use us as a resource. We would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully it was interesting or valuable. If so, a thumbs up would be cool. You can check out relevant videos there. If you subscribe, by the way, you hear about those relevant videos first. Maybe that's a good idea. We're on social media. We have cool stuff there too. Check us out at SportRx.